In this video, I'm gonna show you one trick that's gonna help you reduce patient cancellations. Hey, what's going on? I'm Uriel Kim here, CEO and founder of Healthpreneur. We help health professionals and coaches get clients and scale their practices, both brick and mortar and virtually. And uh, there's nothing more annoying than patients who uh, book an appointment and then cancel it, right? Or they, they book an appointment and they don't even show up. That's even worse. And we'll have, we have other videos on how to deal with the no-shows. But in this quick video, I want to share with you one simple trick that is going to help you reduce patient cancellations. And it's going to be so simple. I'm going to share, with, I'm going to share this with you and you're like, oh my God, that makes so much sense. So here's how this is going to work. Is when someone books an appointment with you, and like, I don't know what system you're using, whether you're using Practice Better, Jane app, or anything else, they're probably going to be getting an automated confirmation. Like, hey, a great job on booking your appointment for Dr. Joe tomorrow at two o'clock, right? They're going to get something automated like that. Now, here's the thing is that it's very easy to cancel or not show up um, when it's an automation, right? Like, there's no emotional connection to an automation. So, yeah, we have that. That's like, level one, but here's what you're going to do or have someone in your office do. Whenever someone books a new appointment, this is this is going to be especially true for new patients. This might not make as much sense for existing patients, but for new patients, which is really where there's the biggest issue because there's less trust built, right? Less a relationship is they're going to book in. You're going to get the confirmation of the booking. Either you or office manager, receptionist, et cetera, is going to send a personal text and ideally a video, okay? So here's what you're gonna do is you're gonna take out your phone or have your office manager take out their phone. You're gonna shoot a video, a selfie, okay? Like literally a selfie. Can you imagine this? A doctor, a medical professional, a health professional doing this for their patients? Are you crazy? Like no one's expecting this. This is why this works so well. You take out the phone, you shoot the text. Um, I'll just use an example here, okay? So. Hey, Deborah, it's Dr. Yuri from XYZ Clinic. I just saw that you booked in a, a, a new visit tomorrow at two o'clock. Listen, I'm really excited to, to meet up with you. Um, just based on your application I, or what you submitted, I think there's some really cool stuff we can look at together. Um, but just before, um, or just out of curiosity, sorry, what was it that made you choose us? That question right there, what was it that made you choose us is the key. Because what is someone going to answer to this, right? So sorry, my camera went on blurry for a second. What was it that made you choose us? When someone answers that question, what are they doing? They are selling themselves on why you are the best option for their situation. Now, the answer to that question can be important, but maybe not so much. But here's the thing is it's, it's prefaced in a way that is going to prompt a positive response, right? Like if you were to say like, hey, what did you like most about today? Person's gonna to say, I like this, this, and this. Or if you say, hey, what problems did you deal with today? They're gonna to tell you the problems. So by asking what was it, or what, did, what resonated with, you know, what resonated with you most that made you choose us, or what was it that made you choose us, uh, is a super, super simple but powerful statement or question to ask, because it's gonna prompt a response that's gonna be positive, and it's going to sell them on your clinic or services, okay? So that's, whenever you're, whenever you're uh, communicating with patients or clients, always finish the question, always. If you should always, number one, you should always be asking for a response. So if I were to shoot that video and say, hey, it's you know Dr. Yuri uh, from XYZ Clinic, just got your application, really looking forward to speaking with you tomorrow, I'll see you then, okay? Now, we, we don't know if they saw that or got it, although that's on their phone, so how do you miss it, right? But here's the thing is we don't know. But when you ask a question, what does it do? It prompts a response. So now we have confirmed they've received the message, they've responded, and they've engaged. So think of every engagement back and forth with your patients or clients as a point. So you send the video text, you, you sending the video text is not the point. Them responding to the text, that's when you get the point. Okay, so that's point number one. So now we know they're engaging. They're just a decent human. They replied to a text, right? It could be, it doesn't have to be an elaborate answer, just something. Day of the appointment. So let's say that uh, 
Their appointment's at two o'clock this afternoon, first thing in the morning. Right? You can have your uh, receptionist, office manager, or you, depending on how your, how your business is set up, you send another text message. Now, it doesn't have to be video this time, and it's a simple text. Hey, Deborah, it's Dr. Dury again. We still good for our appointment today at two o'clock? Question mark. Instead of, hey, it's Dr. Yuri just reminding you about your appointment at 2 o'clock. That's a statement. Now, what does it not do? It does not prompt a response. So you ask the question instead. Are we still good for our appointment at 2 o'clock today? Deborah responds, yes, I'll see you then. Perfect. Two points, okay? We're two for two. This is how you reduce cancellations, is you have the automation foundation, because the automation is going to send them that you know, like, hey, you got an appointment with Dr. Dury at whatever time today. Great, awesome, ignore it. But when you ask a question and they respond to you, the person, now there's a level of like, man, I can't let this person down. And that is the secret to reducing patient cancellations. Simple, simple enough. Can you do it? Will you do it? That's the question. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Hundreds of more great videos to help you get more clients to grow your practice. And by the way, if you want the secret sauce that helps all of our clients win big, and I'm talking like thousands of your colleagues, we've helped them generate over $100 million in their businesses and their practices over the last few years, helping tens of thousands of people to better health. If you want the secret sauce, well, we've got a free training that will show you exactly what it looks like. Click the link in the description. I'll walk you through everything in granular detail about how you could apply it in your business. And if you'd like our help beyond that, then book in a call with one of our practice growth, uh, <laughs> practice growth specialists. You can do that um, after the training and we can certainly talk about what the next steps might look like if we feel there's a good fit to help you. So that is all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate your time and attention. Give this trick a shot and watch what happens. All right, enjoy. See you soon.